But the great strength of being an independent is that you are independent and you can make your own decisions. But the great weakness is you're a standalone independent. Um, and it's it's somehow kind of trying, what, and what we're trying to do in the UK at the moment is, and part of the British Film Institute is, is engineering this as well, um, is about how we create uh, networks, uh, meaningful networks in terms of trying to uh, kind of, I guess, intervene in some ways. But for me, <coughs> the issue would be, you take that film, Zoom for Families, that I think there's an audience. How, how do I get that to the audience um, in a kind of meaningful way? Well, let's, let's have a conversation about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we want yeah. cinema website and you can book your own uh, event. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, I, I, absolutely. Um, did, you, did you ever do day on date? Like in, in the way they uh, call day on date? Because the, the Martin Cole story sounds really like appealing, but I find out as a distributor that theatres don't want to go together with POD. Oh, oh well, yeah, so experience of that, um, as I guess, uh, what, uh, so, uh, La Arf, Chris Mackey's film was released the other day, and then Barbarian Sound Studio, and, and some of the stuff that, I mean, obviously what Ross was talking about from Cousin Okay, Mackie. so it's quite quite common. So, yeah, they do, and I'm, I'm not worried about that. I, what, what that focuses the mind on is making the offer uh, in the cinema uh, a, a, a reason for going to the, you know, what is the reason for going to the cinema? It also does, help generate um, uh, sort of noise about the, the film as well, you know, extra noise and extra. So I'm not, I'm not worried about this um, chronology, protection of chronology, uh, windows, etc. What I want to do is, is engage the, the community yeah, audiences that I'm dealing with in Bristol yeah. um, in a local way with uh, material that I want to get into a dialogue about. 